Hey everyone, it's Justin from Blackbird Creative and today we're going to make a quick tutorial um, to help out our staff to upload um, vector art to Adobe Stock. So hopefully this helps out those designers uh, that want to sell their vector art and create some sort of like a passive income. This is a great way to do it. Really easy to sort of set up. Um, so pretty much we're going to use this example. This is already designed. This is already ready to go. Uh, we just need to make sure that we the file is up to the right specifications required and we want to show you how to upload it to Adobe Stock, do all the keywords, um, how to fill it out correctly and yeah. Let's just jump into it. Uh, so this is the sign here. We just need to make sure the artboard's the right size. So at the moment it's 5,000 by 3,500. And the reason why it's that big is because I just followed the, the standards that are on this post here from Adobe themselves. Uh, apparently it needs to be 15 megapixels to be able to be submitted, so I just followed that. So and that should be more than plenty enough. So, so yeah, once we've got that all set up, the size is correct, um, everything is cleaned up, this is all grouped together nicely, there's no like, multiple layers everywhere. We just got a background layer and a computer layer. Really easy to use, because you've got to think if someone was to download this, we want to make it really easy for them to drag and drop it onto their own artwork, change colors if they need to, um, just to make it easy as possible to use. So, you know, we can get as many people downloading this as possible. So once that's done, uh, we need to save this as, save as, save it here, just rename this to visual data on laptop screen. We'll call it that. Save it as an illustrator file. And the most important part here is you can't save it as a CC version. Uh, you're best off saving as an Illustrator 10 or Illustrator 9, I believe. Um, they're the only, they're, they need to be that particular file type or else it will get rejected. So we're going to click OK, click OK, and this should be ready to go. So we're just going to double check with the file there. So that's our file. I'm going to go to Adobe Stock. So you will need to set up an Adobe um, ID. We already have one because we have an Adobe account, so it's already all set up for us. Um, you need to set up a selling account as well. Once you do all that, you can start uploading all this, all your cool vectors. So now we're just going to go to the top here. You can see we've got uh, some vectors up already. We've only just started, so there's not many to you know go off or this, you know we've only earned a couple of bucks, but it's early days. So let's just upload. So we're just going to drag that file here. So remember, you need to go to the sales setting. Um, not the other way where you're searching for vectors. It's a different, totally different thing. Okay, so all looks good. We haven't had any issues so far. So we'll go to file type is vectors. 
of sequence it's a vector. Category technology. There's multiple ones here you can pick from, but like animals, building architecture, business, technology suits this particular vector the best. Um, whatever you choose in these sections, the whole purpose is of, of it is to make it um, super easy to find by the people that want to use it. So in terms of the title here, I like to think about how what I'd type in in the search uh, search bar if I was to look at it. So I'd go through. I'll test out a few search phrases. So we're in the search section here. So I'm going to call, let's just say, uh, laptop vector. Really easy. We'll see what we currently have here. This sort of, and we'll find something sort of similar already up. We might even go go with popularity. We'll see what's the most popular. Okay, so. Something like this. It's a bit more specific, this particular one. Phishing scam, it's not really what we're... This is more generic, this particular style. It's more like this, this is accounting. Maybe something like this. It's about data, top view. So here, yeah, this is very descriptive. Planning, counting, I like this. So this sort of that sort of describes what we're what this is about. So we'll call this laptop showing business data accounting comma set accounting data Counting metrics and research. So this sort of covers possible uses and just gives them a better understanding of what the vector is about. So we've got some automatically populated keywords. I'm going to go to Business data counting metrics. And I also like to see what similar keywords. That you know that others are using. I don't like to use exactly the same because, especially if they're like one of the most popular, um, I like to use sort of the second most favorite keywords. It's just easy because it's, it's the hardest part is break through, break it through the competition because there's a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of different types of vectors people can use. Okay, so I think we've got a good set of keywords here. Business, laptop, data, accounting, metrics, screen, keyboard, technology, financial, PC, monitor, internet, screen, information, 
black communication, research, statistics, uh, analysis, network, portable, desktop, investment, profit, stock exchange, management, project, chart, and graph. So these pretty much are very specific to um, this uh, vector, uh, just to make it as easy as possible to find through the search. Um, you know, just gonna make sure recognizable people or property. No, there's nothing recognizable on this. If you do, you'll have to have release forms and stuff. If you're using like branded um, equipment or you know, copyrighted equipment or anything that's just really noticeable. For instance, we were rejected the other day because we used the, a mock-up of the new iPhone, iPhone X. Uh, I think it was a bit too similar looking and that just got rejected. So yeah, just be aware of that. So once that's all done, all that information is logged in actually with this as well. I might add vector to this. It's another important one. Let's add vector. Last one, vector. Okay, cool. So that's I'm happy with that. Let's submit this for approval. It normally takes about a day, depending, sometimes longer, but most, the longest has ever been a day, so we'll wait and hear, to hear back from uh, Adobe Stock. Hopefully it's all approved and it can start selling. And yeah, so that's pretty much all it is. It's just the hardest part is creating the keywords and doing a little bit of research on what else is out there, what's doing well, and picking you know, the right terms, the right words to maximize the chance of your vector being seen. So like I said, it's early days for us. We're still testing and um, you know, doing a few tweaks here and there of, of, our, of our approach, but at least it shows you how to actually upload them, um, especially for our team members, uh, save it's just a lot easier to just see the video and follow this. So yeah, hopefully this uh, this has showed you how to upload your vectors to Adobe Stock. We'll probably do another video on Shutterstock, which is another site we upload our vectors to. And yeah, so thanks for watching. See you later.